for this review, we have the Transformers Legacy United Fractured Friendship 2 pad. Uh, that almost sounded like a tongue twister. Um, so this is Gladiator Megatron and Security Officer Orion Pax. And this is basically a uh, version of IDW Megatron and Optimus. Uh, Orion packs. So we've actually gotten both of these figures in some form before. Um, Megatron is basically just kind of like a recolor, and the Optimus is has some new parts. So I'm really interested in seeing uh, Optimus here. Um, the front of the box looks really awesome. Uh, this is kind of in line with the other Legacy United stuff. They do a lot to kind of get these uh, red and purple clashing colors in the artwork. The top carries over this whole versus thing, um, almost like a, like a fighting game type screen. On the side, we get to see the wraparound. This is kind of showing like Megatron just came from the gladiator ring. And then on this side, we just get the legacy poster on the bottom, UPC. And on the back, you get to see a photo of both figures, both vehicle modes. Optimus does have a matrix. Uh, Megatron comes with a bunch of weapons. Uh, these are new. And this is a uh, recolor, and that little drill piece is also uh, carry over from the original version of this. So that is the box. Um, the box is uh, kind of mid size, so these are going to be some chunky Voyagers. So let's take them out. Uh, in the box, there's going to be a little legal pamphlet and a instruction sheet. And then the figures are going to be on this kind of plain basic cardboard. There is going to be little tissue accessory packs. And there's nothing in the back. So this is pretty much it. You get these guys out and uh, toss all the other stuff if you need to. All right, so uh, let's get them out of the packaging and let's look at the figures. Okay, so here they are out of the box, and I was kind of surprised that, you know, you have the two little baggies on each side, and they ended up having uh, some of each bot's weapons uh, stored in them. So, hey, whatever. Um, so, just kind of be aware of that. You start pulling out one, and you're like, hey, where's the other weapons? This doesn't go with him. They're, they're all mixed up. So this goes together, this goes together. We can put the little guns on the side of Optimus's arms or Orion's arms. Uh, this is definitely a call out to Transformers Armada. He's got his blaster that would have come with the gamer edition but they've added a little piece to make it so that he can hold this and it is unremovable but um there was a dk uh a DNA design uh, upgrade kit, and it's like they kind of stole the idea to um, include this. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, that fits in really good. I was going to say it was kind of weird that it had like these guard rails on the side of it, but it does allow the gun to fit really well in his hand. So I like that. And then Megatron's got a million weapons. And 
these things are mostly separated because they will do different things in robot mode versus vehicle mode. But as you see, kind of put all this stuff together. And then you're going to see this drill kind of be displayed with him as kind of like a proto fusion cannon. And then he's got his uh, Takara micro chain style uh, gun, gun, sword, but with this really nice flame effect. Um, I don't know the story of this purple rock hammer. Uh, I guess this is like a raw energon or something. And he's got his pickaxe from the original release. And these guys have lots of ports, uh, mostly because of the uh, gimmick from Siege. So you can get these on here and store them pretty well. Although I'm not sure what you're going to do with the axe. Um, they did, they do have, try this side, they do have this slot on the side of the arms and looks like that will fit. Yep. So I don't think he's supposed to have this on the side of his arm, but just like for storage purposes, it's there if you need it. Now, again, Optimus has got the most changes. He's got a new chest. Um, the lower legs are new. The head is obviously new. The addition of these guns on the side is new. Um, there's a lot going on with the back, but, you know, it's, it's okay. It's par for the course with... Um, you know, generation uh, transformers. Um, yeah, I like looking at this guy, kind of like knowing about the DNA design kit. It's like they saw that and it was like, hmm, we can we can do that ourselves and do it better. Um, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from it. So. Uh, Megatron is pretty nice. His biceps have silver paint. His face is silver, like a really nice silver. Um, the grill in the abdomen is silver. Um, I do not like these feet. They they keep releasing Megatron and not really doing too much with the feet. They 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 should at least put some money in to fixing that. Although messing with him right now it does seem like the feet are a little different like he's he doesn't have like this weird leaning that normally he has so maybe they did do a little bit of change to that um if you are not familiar with the back he's got his uh tank treads kind of hanging off the back there um but they they look okay and then uh, we showed off Orion here a moment ago. So let's do a comparison. So we'll do Optimus or Orion first. And actually, let's kind of switch sides here. Um, he has some uh, DNA design add-ons. But uh, one thing I want to talk about is this little thing that they gave him so that he could hold his gun. It doesn't work well. It's a great idea, but this handle, um, they designed it so that the handle can fold up and be stored but it doesn't fit in his hand securely like as you see there's like a lot of space it's just it's just not designed they, they didn't design this to be held this way so if you're going to use this kit 
you know, the gun's just going to kind of, kind of flop around. Um, and then on the new version, um, as I showed, they knew that <laughs> they're like, okay, let's, let's take what, um, these people did. I mean, it's almost like the same, same look like the, the sculpting and, uh, yeah, Hasbro did it better. So kudos to them. The legs are different and it make it, it it'll end up making Orion like a tad bit taller. Like you can see with the shoulders here, he's a little bit taller. Um they both have the matrix chamber. So I think this inner part might be the same, but the outer part is different. Um, I do like how they painted this on here. It is not painted though. So that's, uh, one kind of bummer. Um, the pinhead look for the, uh, Gamerverse version is part of the design of this figure. Um, so having, you know, more appropriate sized head looks better. Um, the arms are different. I, I didn't realize that, but, um, the arms are definitely a different sculpt too. So, that is both of these guys. Alright, so let's move Orion out of the way. Let's talk about... The Megatrons. So again, the drill, the drill holder, the pickaxe both share. Um, this is the same mold. There is nothing different about um any of the parts on them. Um, the feet are a bit wobbly on this guy. They do seem a little bit better on this one. It, it seems like somewhere between here, this release, and the dramatic capture, they may have fine-tuned the, the tolerances on the feet a little bit, because uh, this and dramatic capture do seem to have sturdier feet. Outside of that, the big difference is color. So this definitely harkens back to, I think, the Dreamwave introduction of Megatron. I can't, man, I can't remember. And then this is definitely deep into the IDW series um, when they were exploring the, you know, the past and the lore of uh, Megatron and Orion. So. Uh, and just kind of show off the colors a little bit. Yep, there they go. That's the thing about these feet. They are going to eventually just kind of lean backwards. So, nice. I mean, do we need two of these guys? I don't know, but they're they're definitely different uh different points in time. This uh technically this is your gladiator Megatron and this guy, he's your rebellion um so-called freedom fighter Megatron. Um yeah, if you haven't read uh the IDW series, uh read it. It's 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 interesting. It's definitely written in a kind of modern adult. There's a lot of politics, a lot of blurring of the lines with like uh who's the good guys, who the bad who's the bad guys. It's it's pretty good. It it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I, I think it is some good writing. So there you go with them. 
So overall, I really like uh, this release, uh, more so for the Optimus. Um, it is cool that we get some new weapons for Megatron. I think it's appropriate. And I definitely like um, the tolerances are a little bit better on Megatron, so it's going to be more fun to kind of pose and deal with him now. Um, definitely like the colors too, although I may be partial to the other Megatron's color scheme. Uh, this one still looks good. And uh, actually, I wouldn't mind one without all the red um, X's and stuff on it. But um, hopefully the next Megatron we get, uh, G1 style Megatron is a studio series. Um, they got to do something to match up the upcoming 86 Optimus. So uh, that's the review. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, tune into more videos coming up. Thank you.